Hello everybody! Welcome to another video from Code Shots with Profanis. This is the first video of a series where we will see how to use libraries in Angular either using a monorepo or a polyrepo. We will start with the basics and in this video we will see how to create a library and use it in our application. So, let's get started. This is a default application that I have just created using the CLI and if we go to the browser the only thing that we see is the default app component HTML file and what we want to do now is to create a library, right? So let's do this. The command that we will use is the ng generate library and we have to define the name of the library. Let's say mylib. The library has been created and now let's go to the explorer and spend a minute here to see what this command created for us. The first thing that we are noticing is this projects directory. Let's open this and we can see that we have mylib which is the name of the library that we have just created and inside src lib we have some files. We have a unit test, we have the component, a module, a service unit test and a service. These are the default files that came automatically with the generation of the library. What is very interesting here though is this file, the public API. So what this file is all about? So the library that we have just created is meant to be used by our Angular application or by multiple applications, right? So these applications are the consumers and the public API is the user layer which defines what is available to the consumers of the library. And what we can see here is that the consumers will get the service, the component and the module. Nice. So the question now is how can I use this public API? Let's now go to our application, which is this one and let's focus in the tsconfig file. Let's open this and what we can see is that automatically we we'll have this path section here which creates an alias with the name mylib and this points to the compiled version of our library. So let's build our library. ng-build, what are you going to build? mylib. We we'll have to define the name of the library. Nice. So now we have this directory, dist, and inside here we have mylib. And the tsconfig.json mylib, which is the alias, points to this directory. Okay, so how can I use this now? What I'm going to do is the following. I will go to the my application, src app, app modules, and in the imports, import the module that exists in our library. So let's go to our library and we can see that we have here the mylib module and this is the name. So I will copy this and let's go back to app module and I will just paste it here. And as we can see we can import mylib module from module mylib. This is the alias that exists here in the tsconfig paths. Let's go again back to the library and we have also this component, right? Lib my lib is the selector name. So I will close everything now. I have just copied the selector name and I will go to the app component HTML. I will select everything and just use the selector here. Let's go to the browser and this is what we have, my lib works. This is how we use a component that lives in a library in our application. How about now if I want to do any change here, my library works and I will have it like this is a change. Let's go back to the browser, reload and we won't see anything. Why is this happening? The reason is that in the tsconfig here we depend on the compiled version of the library. This means that we have to recompile our library. So let's do this ng build mylib. And of course, this is 
not efficient enough, right? So how can we do this? How can we, during the development, do any change in the library and use this change in our application? We can simply use the option watch. This means that any change that we will do in our component, code shots with profanis, any change will recompile the library and also update our application. And if we go back to the browser, we can see that here is a change, code shots with profanis. And this is how we create a library and use it in our component. So, that was it. Thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and do not forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.